Hey, you can't seem to find the energy to pursue your dreams, your goals, your passion, your aspirations. Well, guess what? You found the right video. Hey, Daniel, cue in that intro, please. Hey, how's it going, friend? Juan Pablo here. Welcome to the channel, and if you're new, hey, with this channel, we like to discuss the three pillars to financial freedom, which are personal finance, that relates to credit, funding, personal financial statements, budgeting, all that good stuff. Funding, having a repeatable source of investment capital, and last and certainly not least, real estate investing. We like to focus on, emphasize, multi-unit investing, as well as multi-family investing. And we like to talk about mindset-related things, too. Uh, simply because to, to help you along that path. Productivity, having a positive mindset, all that good stuff as well. And again, if you're new, please like, share, and subscribe to this video. So that way, Google, the algorithm, can do its thing in providing you with additional videos to help you get closer to your goal towards becoming financial free. So without further ado, let's get into the topic. Let's talk about energy, all right? Oftentimes, many people who are getting started in, in any endeavor, let's say uh, my audience is, is mainly real estate investors, right? Or aspirants, they aspire to become real estate investors. They're not quite there yet, but they're getting there. And so as a result of um, them wanting to do real estate investing, or let's say you have a side business, whatever it is, right? You have another venture outside your nine to five. They find it difficult to actually have the energy to do it. They might be good at time management. They might be good at you know structuring their time accordingly. They might be good at actually performing the work. However, meaning working towards their, their dream, their goal, their desire, their business, their real estate investing, their portfolio, whatever it is, the downside is this. They just can't muster up the energy. They feel burnt out. So whether uh, you have to wake up early to do these uh, tasks that goes towards your dreams or you have to do it after work, either way, they just don't have the, don't have the energy. If they try to do these tasks first thing in the morning, they have a hard time waking up. If they do it after work, they have a hard time focusing and they just want to relax, engage in leisure-like activities because maybe in their subconscious they're thinking like, hey, you deserve to relax. You worked hard, whether yesterday or today. You know, you worked hard last night, so you deserve to sleep in. Hey, you worked hard today. You even worked late, so you deserve to come home, relax. Crack open the fridge, drink a beer. You know, get that remote, watch some, uh, you know, watch some TV, some Netflix, do those type of things. And so many people have a hard time um, getting energy. So here's three tips I want to share with you about how you can not only have the energy, but also have the mental clarity and focus to be able to put in the work needed to accomplish your goals. So here's the first thing I recommend. Sleep. So you might be thinking, well, sleep. I was thinking I should get less sleep because if I have this new venture that I want to pursue, this new goal, this dream, desire, passion, what have you, real estate, don't you think I should take time away from my sleep so that way I can reallocate that time, maybe an hour, hour and a half, two hours of sleep time reallocated towards you know, my business? Well, that does make sense, but no. It's not about having more time to do your tasks. It's all about doing your tasks at high quality. So, so it boils down to quality over quantity because if you get a full rested night's sleep, even if you have less time to do your tasks towards your goals, the time that you do have towards your goals will be much more impactful. As a result, being well rested because you will feel rejuvenated. And that's the key. It's hard to make sound decisions, especially in your business or real estate investing, if you're sleep deprived. Try it. I'm sure you've been sleep deprived before. Now, how, how clear were your decisions? Your mental clarity wasn't there. Your level of focus wasn't there, right? But when you're well rested, man, you're, you're just renewed. You're, you're willing to put in the work and not just at a mediocre level, but high impact level. Now, you wanna make sure you get enough REM sleep as well as deep sleep. So REM sleep is uh, sleep in which is rapid eye movement. That's what REM stands for. When you're in REM sleep, it helps with rejuvenating your mind. That's when you normally get to dream state with REM sleep. So I'm not an expert on this, okay? Uh, so you can always just check the link below. I, I have some, a few things about sleep in, in, the, in the description. Just check below so you can learn more about it. But I'm not an expert by any means, okay? But what I've somewhat studied, 
when you have REM sleep, it helps rejuvenate your mind. So that way you can have a high readiness score and be focused on the task for the next day. Now, in addition to having quality REM sleep, now everyone sleeps different. Some people seven hours, some people nine hours. I'm typically in the bed for seven and a half hours, but I typically get around seven hours of sleep. So I have about 30 minutes of awake time. Because occasionally at night, you wake up, right? So out of being in bed for a total of seven and a half hours, I get about seven hours of sleep. And so with me, again, everyone's different, so you wanna see what works for you. But with me, I need at least an hour, 20 minutes of REM sleep per night to have a really good readiness score. So I can be alert and ready to go. In addition to the REM sleep, you also wanna have deep sleep. Now deep sleep helps prepare your body right so if you're busy working or working out so I work out six days a week I'm, I'm really active so I have to make sure that my body recovers and your body recovers and feels less sore and it also prevents injuries when you heal properly so that's what happens in your, your deep sleep your body's repairing itself it, it's uh, making you feel better right it's, re it's relieving you from being sore so you want to have that deep sleep as well not say for me personally one hour or more even last night I got two hours and 20 minutes of deep sleep so I was ready to go to work out I was ready to go extra hard and you might be wondering well how are you able to um, to do these things like track how much time you get towards realm towards deep this thing right here is their sensors and you might want to check if you have an Apple watch too I think they do it now but there's many different devices wearable technology in which they have sensors that track these things and as long as you're measuring it, you can improve it. So if you're not measuring the quality of your sleep, it will be foolish to expect any areas of improvement there. Okay? So sleep is huge. So that way you can be more impactful and not feel burned out. The second thing I, I recommend is this. Diet. You got to eat right, baby. <laughs> and I'm not saying just eat right, but I also have more time in between meals, fasting. So again, I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a... Uh, a health expert by any means, but what I found, just sharing with you what about uh, what I've experienced and how I got results, is just having um, a lot of fasting, having one meal a day. Now that's that's a little extreme, uh, but based upon my time constraints, I, I say you know what, I want to pack all the calories I need into one meal and just eat for just a single hour a day. So I eat between 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern, and I and I want to make sure since I'm eating one meal a day, that is nutritionally dense, just packed with nutrition so I try to pack it all in in one meal you might be thinking what you eat one meal what about all your calories again if I eat let's say 2,500 calories per day let's say I did a um, thousand for lunch uh, let's say 500 for breakfast and another thousand for dinner that's 2,500 right there so I try to pack all three of those meals into one single meal and I want to make sure that this meal is as live as possible, meaning it's not cooked, it's not fried, it's not baked, it's not processed, it's none of that stuff. Meaning fresh leafy green vegetables, fresh celery, you know, or chickpeas, or whatever it is. The things that I put into a big bowl of salad, right? So I can get all the nutritionally dense uh, nutrients that I need from that one meal. And of course I do cook a little bit. I might have a baked potato or baked carrots, but I try to make it as clean, lean as possible. Uh, I don't really eat that much meat. I'll eat meat on the weekends, that's when I cheat. That's when I sleep in or what have you, or that's when I um, eat a donut, pizza, drink some whatever, you know, any type of beverage that's not water. I typically do all that stuff on the weekend. But during the week, I want to feed my body just live food because it gives me mental clarity and the energy to be able to be extremely impactful and not be burnt out. And the third thing is this, you probably guessed it, exercise. You have to exercise. And it sounds counterintuitive, right? Most people think that, oh, I don't have the energy to exercise because I'm so burnt out throughout the day, especially if I'm doing real estate investing, I'm doing business. It's challenging for me to, to muster up the energy to exercise. Well, guess what? Exercise gives you more energy. You would have more energy if you exercise. And I like to do it first thing in the morning because, you know, being able to have a restful, nice sleep, 
and uh, I got a lot of deep sleep, room sleep. I'm ready to burn off this energy that I have. You know, when I wake up, I'm like ready to go. Hey, I want to make sure I go hard at the gym. I want to make sure that I pretty much, uh, some, some workouts I work out to fatigue, but not all. But I want to make sure I do have a good sweat, good pump, or what have you. And when I'm done, whew, I feel refreshed. I feel alert. My mental faculties are, are heightened, right? I, I'm ready to go. And I had a friend who told me that. He said he, he jogs three miles a day in addition to his workout. He's a very fit, fit guy, smart guy, too, business guy. And uh, so I was asking him about, okay, so when you jog, what do you listen to normally? Is it an audio book? You know, some people listen to music, you know, because they like the beat, it keeps them motivated. I listen to audio books because I like to learn while I'm jogging. And he said, neither. I said, so you don't listen to anything? He's like, no, because I found out that when I really stretch my body out, for some odd reason, my brain starts thinking of really great ideas that I wouldn't have had unless I put my body under that pressure. And I thought about that, and I said, you know what, you're right. I'm actually in a fraternity, uh, Cap Alpha Psi uh, Incorporated. Shout out to the noobs. And I remember, you know, going through the process, some of you guys know what I'm talking about. We had to go, we had to do like some uh, things that related to pressure on our body, right? And then when those pressure field moments where you're really like straining, you're, you're, you're sweating bees of sweat, when it came to knowing some information or like, like last minute, I learned it like this, under pressure meaning under physical pressure. My mental faculties became heightened as a result. And so I wanna encourage you too to exercise so that way that your mental faculties will be heightened as well. To the point, your brain's thinking like this. All right, now I just got a video recommendation for you below that relates to health, fitness, and all that good stuff too. All right guys, so that's, that's pretty much what I wanna share with you. It, you gotta have the energy because if you're lackluster towards your goals, you're just delaying it. You put it on the back burner. You're not even taking it seriously. All right. So I just want to make sure that you are taking things seriously, especially as you can tell, these three things related to your health. Why? Health equals wealth. If you're a business person, a real estate investor, it'll be foolish to believe that you'll be extremely successful financially if you don't care, take care of your body. Your body is an organism. This body needs rest, it needs exercise, and it needs to have good fuel in it. All right, so I encourage you. So that way you can be looking sharp. Had to pull this jacket out because uh, <laughs> I haven't worn it in a while. You know, since the pandemic, since the quarantine, you know, working from home, you know, there's really no need to dress up. So I say, you know what, if I, you know, I gotta pull it out sometime, right? Look good for the viewers. So if you like the jacket, please comment below if you say, hey, the jacket comment was unnecessary. In fact, it's whack. Please comment below. I accept all criticism. Why? Because it makes me better. Right? It's an area of improvement. I love it. All right, so enough on the tangent. But as always, guys, this is to your success. Continue to earn passively, live passionately. Peace.